Yeah, tough, tough game. Uh, you know, the thing that you're on the sideline as the head coach and you, you kind of say, well, the guys deserve this uh, uh, because we've been so close. But what, what went through my mind at, at, on the sideline saying that to myself was not they, they didn't deserve it, but they earned it. And that's what makes it so hard, you know. Uh, you know we, we all feel literally sick to our stomachs um, because we have earned it. And uh, we, a couple of things didn't go our way, and we got to make sure that you make the plays when they come to you. Um, we didn't do that, and it's not the one play at the end. It, that's what's going to get magnified. Uh, but there's also other plays in in the game where uh, we didn't capitalize and. That's, that's the tough thing. Again, it's another close game. I've been saying that now for five or six weeks in a row. Um, so it's tough. Uh, it's a tough day, especially when you have a, a, a senior class who accepted myself and the staff with open arms and embraced everything that we're asking the team to do. And, and believe me, it's tough, uh, very tough, because the expectation standards are high that we have for these guys. Um, but they loved it. They loved every minute of it. They took it and ran with it. And when I say I loved it, they just they know it's um, the way that it should be done. And so I can't say how appreciative I am for this group of seniors and what they've done for myself and the staff in this program and this university. We should be very proud of them and what they've been able to accomplish. Um, Nick, I'll start with you. Um, obviously, defensively, Maris got out to a pretty quick start to the game. They scored a couple of um, quick possessions. What did you guys do defensively to kind of lock them down there in the second half and give the team a chance to win the game? Just executed. Um, we executed. Uh, we've been doing all week in practice. Uh, I, I, the first one. Um, it just we were in the right place at the right time. Um, same thing with the second one, um, and those two killed us. Um, went back to the drawing board, drew up what they were doing, talked about our adjustments, uh, and uh, they just rode from there. Um, Jack, looking at it in the first half, it seemed like they were getting a lot of penetration in the backfield from their defensive front seven. Um, how did you guys on the offensive line adjust? Uh, to kind of give Chris more time there in the second half? Uh, it was pretty much just recognizing the patterns. You know, they they just, they would show everything that they were bringing and we just weren't, weren't recognizing it fast enough. And, you know, uh, we just started recognizing the patterns and started winning our one-on-one -on -one matchups, which we didn't do in the first quarter. Jimmy, I know it's been a tough year for you, obviously, to try to come back. Uh, and then um, you're standing on the sideline almost the second half of the year. Um, how has it been from your perspective, kind of watching Chris progress over the course of the year, kind of being there to support him, help him get better, and help the team get better? Um, well, Chris and I have been together since the start, four straight years. Every single meeting, we've been sitting next to each other in the same room. So him and I, the bond that we have is 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 bigger than football. And you know, to watch him take advantage of the opportunities that were given to him and. And I think we can all see Chris has gotten better ever since he, he began. Um, and it was, it was, it was, it's nice to see. Um, I was happy to see him do well. And that's, that's a relationship that we're going to carry out throughout football, throughout after football and the rest of our lives. So. Um, all three of you guys obviously are seniors. Um, you get a new coach your final year. Um, what does it take for you to, to buy into a new staff, knowing you have just one more year left, and have you seen the staff kind of progress and help put the football on the right track moving forward? It was easy to believe him. The very first thing he said was, "We're going to work hard," and he meant it. I was telling the story last night um, when we were all sitting around. Um, this man, I, I can't thank him enough. Um, For as loving, as intense, as tough, uh, I don't think you're going to find another coach like that in the market. Um, and that's why it was easy to buy him. We met him during the interview, and it was kind of a no-brainer. Um, 
who we knew was going to be our next head coach. Um, and I wouldn't have traded it for the world. I think throughout the process of everything, there, there were a lot of doubts at first with, you know, just the situation that we were blindly put in. Um, but, you know, as soon as Coach Fox became the guy, it was easy to buy in. And, and he, he's a very, he's a coach that you want to play for. You know, all these seniors would say that they wish they could have one more year to play under him. And, you know, the time we had together wasn't long enough, but he's, he's got the program going in the right direction. Yeah, um, like Nick said, I mean, from from day one, you know, when he stepped on here, I mean, he, he brought an air of confidence to this program that, um, you know, was refreshing to have um, as a senior. Um, and, and just knowing that, you know, uh, like we, uh, we we knew that we were going to work hard no matter what who was coaching here, but just to have just to have him, you know, tell us exactly you know what we're going to do when we're going to do it, and just the transparency with all that all the work we were going to do, to me, you know, was was really the tipping point where I was just like, all right, like whatever this guy wants, I, I'll, I'll do it. You know, whatever he needs me to do, I'll do it. So, and like Nick said, it was pretty easy um, from from day one for for most of us. Coach Fox, you've got three of your four captains sitting here right there. How easy did they make your job in your first year? Yeah, extremely easy. Um, it's hard. It's, it's difficult in the relationships that you have and the things that we ask them to do and um, can't say enough of just what they they've done for again for the football program and this university, and then selfishly for me. Uh, but those are, those are these. This is why you this is why you do what you do, and you know you just you just came off one of the worst losses you can have. But right now I don't I didn't even I'm not even thinking that, and it's because of the relationships and the love that you have for the players and the players for players and players for coaches. That's that's why you do it, and so that, even though it just happened, I really not I haven't thought about it here for the last five minutes, just because of these guys, and um, that's why that's why you coach. Uh, you know, they'll always be a part of this program. I told them that um, they may be leaving us now, but they'll always be part of it. So I'm very, very, very grateful and thankful for them and their families and the rest of the seniors that we have on this football team.